Hello, welcome to Code with Vijay. My name is Vijay Nath Vishwanathan. I am working as a senior software engineer. Uh, this is my personal blog www.codewithvijay.com. You can uh, find me on LinkedIn, GitHub and uh, Twitter as well. So today we'll see AWS Snowball. Okay, so basically I'll explain uh, what's the whole purpose of Snowball, what, you know, what problem it is trying to solve and how it was before snowball okay what are the different uh, types of uh, snowball so so snowball is nothing but a way of transferring huge data from your system to aws cloud okay think you want to transfer say 10 terabytes of data okay and you're running uh, a slow internet connection say probably 15 mbps okay it will take weeks or months to transfer that uh, data to AWS. Okay, literally, it will take days for sure. Okay, and uh, you know, because if you're running uh, a slow inter internet connection, the process of uploading will be pretty slow. Okay, and if you want to upload some data very urgently to AWS, you, c you can't uh, do that. Okay, so before. You know that's what that's what that that's what Snowball will do. Uh, you know if you want to upload uh, terabytes of data, or petabytes or exabytes of data, uh, you can use uh, the features of Snowball. Depends on your size. You can use different uh, you know types of uh, Snowballs. Okay, I'll explain uh, each one of that. Okay, now now let me explain how it was before Snowball. So before Snowball, it was uh, import export disk. Uh, this feature is still uh, available, but you know uh, it'll be good to go with uh, Snowball because it has a lot of nice features. Uh, so import import you know definitely it works fine, uh, but think you know think about the hassles because you know if you're sending hard disk you know AWS will get hundreds of thousands of thousands of hard disk from many different people. Okay. Uh, and they have to handle all that they have to label all that and in your case if you want to transfer you know 20 terabytes of data probably you need uh, 20 hard disk okay to copy all the data uh, and you have to label all your hard disk and all that kind of hassles okay uh, so it's it's completely good when you know uh, when you Compared to com completely good, you know, than trying to upload through uh, your slow internet connection, still is good, but it it has, uh, you know, other problems of you know managing uh, the devices or labeling the devices and all those things. So anyway, it works like this, you know, connect your, connect the storage device, for example, a hard disk, to uh, the computer, and once you have completed the copying, you can mail that to AWS, and AWS. Uh, you know, we'll upload uh, that files to AWS, okay, uh, in any of these, uh, you know, storage, can it can be either S3 or Glacier or uh, EBS, okay, it depends on, uh, you know, uh, the way you want, it will upload your data in one of these uh, storage systems. And now we have Snow Mobile. So there are different, uh, basically three uh, types of uh, snowballs. Uh, I say snowmobile because snowmobile is pretty nice, cool, crazy feature. So instead of snowball, every time snowball snowball will come to you know my tongue uh, because you know when I see that very first time, I literally went crazy. It is you know such an amazing way uh, you know we can transfer huge data to. Uh, AWS. I'll come to Snowmobile. Okay. Before that, let me explain Snowball and um, Snowball Edge. Okay. So, okay. First, Snowball Standard. Okay. So we have Snowball Standard, Snowball Edge, and Snowmobile. Okay. And uh, this is Snowball Standard. Okay. Uh, so what is Snowball? So this guy, this device. Okay. This appliance. This is uh, Snowball. Okay. Uh, on your request, uh, AWS will ship this device to you, okay, and you can uh, transfer transfer your data to this device, and you can send uh, this to AWS, and AWS will copy uh, data from this device to uh, you know 
database cloud okay once after they have copied they will uh, you know uh, clear this one uh, okay and you know then again uh, they'll send the same thing to uh, other guys okay basically you know can reuse this thing okay so okay these are the features you know there is rain and dust resistant and you know uh, tamper resistant case and electronics all data uh, is encrypted okay and in all other countries uh, other than us there's only one variety of snowball standard that is 80 terabytes one uh, but in us uh, they have uh, two uh, types of snowball uh, snowball standard i mean uh, 50 terabytes one and 80 terabytes one okay so you know they have an e-link shipping label as well uh, so this is snowball okay so if you want to transfer 80 terabytes of data you can order one uh, from you know a aws and they will send it to you and i will show you the process of how to uh, you know ship aws uh, from your your premise to uh, aws okay this is how it works so when you want um, a snowball uh, you have to create a job in you know aws console and aws will ship uh, you know that device to you that is snowball and you can uh, connect snowball to your system okay before copying data uh, to snow mobile sorry snowball uh, you have to download snowball client so snowball client will encrypt your data before storing it into uh, snowball and uh, once you have completed the copy you can see here the client will encrypt and copy data to uh, appliance at high speed uh, once complete the e-ring shipping label will automatically update okay so it will automatically update and you don't need to label or anything it will uh, automatically update and uh, the data will be in an encry encrypted format that is highly secure and once after completion of copying data you can send that uh, device to uh, aws and aws will transfer your data to uh, s3 and there are different ways you can uh, track uh, the job status that is you know either with a, a, a amazon sns or text messaging or directly you can check in uh, aws uh, console okay so that's how it works uh, end to end as i told uh, the data uh, will transport uh, securely so this is uh, how you know uh, your data um, will secure you know, uh, it will use two, 256 56 bit uh, encryption okay and your data will be encrypted by snowball client before it uh, reaches to snowball so you have to install uh, snowball client before copying data to snowball and that's the whole purpose of snowball client it will encrypt your data and uh, that encrypted data will store in snowball okay and keys are managed by aws okay uh, they will not they will never send a key to snowball On, once you encrypt then you know only aws can or only aws can you know uh, handle that data because or decrypt that data, that data because keys are managed by uh, aws okay and uh, that is designed uh, to handle uh, cyber attacks okay so uh, your data will be highly 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 secured and next one is snowball edge um, so snowball edge will looks exactly like snowball standard like like this one so it looks exactly uh, the same but it has uh, quite a few additional features okay i'll explain what's that so basically the first thing is uh, the size of data it can carry uh, you know snowball edge can carry 100 uh, terabytes uh, data okay and it has onboard storage and computing uh, capabilities okay so basically snowball standard doesn't have computing capabilities but snowball edge has computing capabilities that's a nice uh, cool feature and snowball edge you can connect to uh, connect to existing applications okay and infrastructure using standard storing interface okay uh, one example i can think of is say you have a shipping or uh, or say transportation uh, company okay and 
say if you want to okay i'll stick with maybe a shipping company and if you want to copy uh, say you have hundred hundreds of ships and if you want if you have some kind of applications and you want to copy all data from that applications to snowball edge it is possible because you know snowball edge can connect to existing applications and to uh, get uh, data from okay that is possible and as i told you know it has competing capabilities and you can run lambda functions from uh, snowball edge uh, but it is not possible with a uh, snowboard standard okay and it supports clustering as well okay so uh, that's you know that's a major difference between snowball standard and snowball edge and the next one will be snow mobile so hold your breath to see that what snow mobile is okay so before switching to next slide let me uh, you know ask you a question say you have uh, petabytes or exabytes of data okay so petabytes or exabytes means uh, pretty huge okay pretty huge means you know very 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 huge uh, or extremely huge data okay and the same example say you're running a slow speed connection or think or think you know so you have you may have high speed connection of uh, 100 mbps okay and you want to transfer uh, say uh, 100 petabytes of data for example okay so how long will it will take uh, do you think okay. it it will it will take months or years to upload that data through internet okay uh, it's almost impossible you have to wait you know uh, mon months or years to copy your data from your system to uh, aws cloud that cloud that is you know almost uh, almost Im impossible because you have to wait all the time okay and then you you know probably you can go with uh, snowball uh, edge or snowball standard uh, but the thing is you know say if snowball uh, edge it can carry 100 terabytes and if you want to uh, say uh, a transfer uh, thousand terabytes then probably you need 10 10 of that you know snowball edge and uh, you know if you have uh, 10 thousand uh, terabytes then you need you know that many uh, how much hundred yeah that many uh, snowball uh, edge and you know again that's pretty difficult uh, okay there comes the real saver uh, that is snow mobile okay snow so snow mobile is nothing literally this guide okay so literally you know kind of shipping container it is not shipping container but you know basically looks like a shipping uh, container uh, you know that is connected to a, a truck okay so this guy if you want to transfer that huge data this guy will come and pick up data from your place and it will you know take data from your place to aws and aws will upload all the data okay pretty pretty crazy isn't it <laughs> it's really cool when i see that first time i really went crazy it's, it's really nice okay so these are the features of snowmobile so so aws snowmobile is an exabyte scale data transfer service used to move extremely extremely means really very huge uh, amounts data to aws it's okay you can transfer up to 100 petabytes okay per snowmobile okay it means in that container you have seen in that you can transfer up to 100 petabytes of data so that's a 45 foot long rugged shipping container okay so the length is uh, 45 foot okay that is pulled by a semi trailer truck so snowmobile makes it easy to move massive volumes of data uh, to the cloud okay uh, you know <coughs> sorry obviously uh, you know that is that makes life pretty very 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 easy okay without snowmobile thing uh, you know how difficult it would be uh, to transfer petabytes of data okay literally it was kind of it was just not, you know, it would have been a nightmare to copy that huge uh, amount of data to uh, AWS. So snowmobile is really saver uh, to get rid of all that pain. Okay, so it's, it's really nice, cool thing. 
and obviously transferring data with snowmobile is secure fast and cost effective okay so uh, that is snowmobile and so we have uh, you have seen three types of uh, snowball first is snowball standard uh, then snowball edge and snowmobile okay uh, thanks guys for watching and uh, the most important thing please don't forget to subscribe uh, my channel so that whenever i upload new videos you'll get uh, intimation okay probably in next session i'll try uh, to show some hands on on how to request for a snowball okay um, i can't raise a real time request because i don't have any you know that huge uh, amount of or huge size of data to transfer to aws you know I have pretty small data that I can upload uh, directly, uh, but I'll try to show uh, without raising maybe a real time request. Anyway, uh, please subscribe to get alerts. Uh, thanks once again for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.